Wei Han. Welcome to Be My Guest, the program which brings you successful stories of entrepreneurs and organizations in both domestic and international arenas. I'm Zhou Sha Ratana Pian. Dermatology is a science that is connected with the diagnosis and treatment of diseases of the skin, hair, and nails. And dermatologists are definitely one of the needed medical experts who can educate and cure skin diseases in precise, appropriate, and ethical means. In this episode, to be my guest, we are talking to Associate Professor Nopadon Nopakun, who will introduce the Dermatological Society of Thailand and its crucial role in the Kingdom of Thailand. And currently, I am granted an opportunity with Associate Professor Nopadon Nopakun, the President of Dermatological Society of Thailand. Good evening. So, first of all, could you tell us a bit about the background of Dermatological Society of Thailand? Uh, the Dermatological Society of Thailand is an organization organized about 40 years ago with a group of dermatologists, about 10 of them, who have been practiced in dermatology mm. 40 years ago. And they think that they would like to get together and to organize mainly academic uh, uh, meetings to share the knowledge. Mm. At the same time, to share the knowledge not only for among dermatologists but also to the general practitioner. I see. And then after that, we start to organize to make more official, mm. become a society. Mm. So it's an organization of dermatologists. Mm. Okay? Okay. Dermatologists who are in, have a common interest in the field of dermatology. And now we have, since that first started, now we have about 633 members. We have uh, two types of members. One is called a permanent member. This means that the only people who are certified board in dermatology. Mm. That means that they have complete training in dermatology in Thailand. I see. We have about 633 people. Okay. And then we have another additional members. These are the people who are doctor mm. who are interested in dermatology. They are not a fully trained or certified dermatology. Mm. We have about 100, uh, 1,891 1, members. So altogether, we have about 2,400 members. Okay, together. so it has become a great society and bigger society. Yes, it's quite okay. big for that. Right now, okay. Talking about the missions here of the Society of Thailand, so what is it? The three main missions is that the first one is that we want to uh, get together to do uh, mainly academic meeting. Yeah, and the second uh, task is that we want for training the metrology. We also uh, set up a new another committees under the society. This is to train doctors to become a dermatologist. Mm. That we can talk about that later. And then the other mission is that to uh, help or to um, educate the public and to go out to the up country to help uh, to su provide service mm. for people who lack. Uh, uh, service in the metrology. I see. So that means all together, all both permanent members and also additional members, they gather together. Oh yes, they can, uh, they can join together. I yes. see. Okay. Talking about the roles and responsibilities here of the Metrological Society of Thailand, so what are they? You mean the academic meeting? Uh, for the academic meeting, we have the three meetings, mm. I mean the annual meeting. The first one that uh, we have annually in every March. This is quite a big meeting. We have about almost 2,000 attending. Mm -hmm. And uh, this meeting mainly to provide the knowledge to both the people who completely train, practice dermatologists, and to a newcomer like residents, mm -hmm. doctors who are interested. So the meeting is organized to the up to the de data. Uh, um, at first, the meeting was in Thai. And then we change uh, slowly to English. Now every meeting are in English mm. because we can. We hope that we can uh, attract uh, doctors from our neighbor countries, I see. like Malaysia, Singapore. I see. And recently we have been quite successful. We have mm. more people from different countries to join wow. the meeting. Yes. So that that our annual meeting, and that about three days uh, events. And uh, we have courses, we have like uh, every topic that hot in that area, including the workshop. And another meeting we have like, a, we have the mid-year meetings. 
this meeting, meeting we mainly emphasize on the practical dermatology. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the people who attend are well-trained dermatologists who want to share their experience, mm -hmm. who want to learn more about practical point. That about, about uh, that only one or two two days meeting. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in order to serve the academic purpose, you um, have three main and major events. Right. Okay, annually here. Uh -huh. And apart from this type of academic activity, so is there any other activities? Mm. And uh, the first, uh, let me uh, mention a little bit about the third part. Okay. We know that now, uh, dermatology is is uh, changing a lot. Mm. When I first uh, entered the training many years ago, my family asked me why you want to do dermatology. It's such a dirty disease. And you have to deal with people who have venereal disease and uh, leprosy. And, but that trend has changed. Now, dermatology also includes not only the diseases, but also how to take care, how to improve, mm. how to maintain healthy skin. That's why cosmetic dermatology become a major part in our practice. So our third annual meeting mm. uh, is mainly emphasized on the cosmetic dermatology. But being a leader of the fields, the pillar of the countries, we have to make it more evidence-based. Mm. So any topics, any scientific meeting that can be present in this uh, cosmetic meeting must be have enough evidence that show that uh, it work, it's have a most important part is safe for the patients. Mm. This is our goal that safety of the patient is the main thing. Mm. Okay. So um, right now, so that means participants, okay, who will receive more knowledge from Dermatological Society of Thailand mm. is included, okay, the public as well. Okay, of those who want to endorse their beauty and healthy skin. Okay. Right. So and, and uh, because the, the world has changed we have to change a lot of things, even the training. Uh, it used to be like uh, we have one year training in, the, in, in internal medicines mm. because every dermatologist have to see the inpatient mm. severe diseases. So they must have knowledge about the internal disease like many bullet diseases that have a very severe complication. And also they have to know about uh, how to improve condition of patients, how mm. to collect birth defects, so we try to incorporate the cosmetic dermatology, mm. like lasers, uh, into, the, into the curriculum. So the fourth year's resident now, they can enjoy, they can learn more about the curriculum okay. and this part. I so we, after they fully train, even though they don't practice mm. cosmetic, they have enough knowledge how to guide the patients. Ah, okay. If you come to see me, you want to ask advice, should I do this type of treatment? I'm not doing that, but I can advise you. Mm. Is it better, is it good, or is any complication that you have to be aware of? Mm. And I can send you to the right doctor. Ah, okay. So this is the part, okay, that has been um, just newly created, okay, to serve the demand and also the changing trend in cosmetic dermatologists, okay, mm -hmm. society here. Now, talking about on um, the skin diseases or the responsibilities, you know, of dermatologists in the society to the villages or maybe to the public in other deserted areas. Mm -hmm. There are two parts. One is the people who have certain diseases like psoriasis mm. or leprosy. Uh, psoriasis is one of the chronic skin diseases that many people have very, it's not life threatening, but it has much effect on their quality of life. They cannot go out to work. Mm. They have uh, disfiguring skin lesions. That's why so we have to educate our doctors mm. and we try to go out and help this patient as much as we can. The medication are very expensive. Uh, it costs like you can buy a car for those injections and they never kill, just only one year. So what we try to do is we try to create the public awareness, mm -hmm. awareness that this disease is not contagious. This disease is uh, you have to have sympathy for the people who have it. Mm -hmm. Every university who have dermatology training in Thailand have their annual events mm -hmm. for the public. They go out, even in, in my university, Chua Long Kong, we, we have the sources uh, there. We make a shirt, t-shirt that people can touch this patient. They mm -hmm. are not contagious. And that parallel to leprosy. 
Leprosy is also disfiguring uh, diseases. And uh, we are not really active in about prevention of leprosy. That's the job of the Rapachas Masais, which is uh, organized as support by the king, the late king. But it's our duty to teach our doctors mm. how to recognize how to treat these patients. Mm. We still see a new case, not that, that many, but it's our job too. Okay, so uh, is there any future events that they are going to other provinces in order to educate you know, people in other provinces? Oh uh, yes, we, uh, is my, as president of my plan that we will go out to the up country every uh, two or three times a year, mm. okay? So I think well, under two purposes. First of all, we can help the local doctor to treat so, uh, difficult diseases. Secondly, we can educate them. Mm -hmm. Also, the local doctors, including medical students. For example, like when the last time we went to Mahasarakram, all the medical students in the Northeast area come to join us. Mm -hmm. So we have a chance to sit with them, see the patient. I think that's a great opportunity mm -hmm. to do that. And we're talking about going to the south. We try to go to the north, to the south, to the northeast, to every very area. We also went to the, the jail, I mean the retention, mm -hmm. um, one in the Radbury, the other one in Thornbury. Mm -hmm. So we help these pe people in, in, the, in the prison to treat their diseases. Okay. okay? We also help, uh, got a request from um, the child care unit. They have those lights over the body so we went out there to help them, to teach them how to use this uh, medication to get rid, eliminate of the lights. I see, okay. okay. The other thing that, that, that's quite obvious about the, the public. Another thing in, in, in Bangkok or in local, we have to, let's say, compete with the advertisements. We want to change the Thai concept about uh, being white. Mm. Thai people always believe that they should have a good skin, they always have the white skin. So a lot of medication treatment that they use, they bought, quite dangerous. They use some medication that can kill all the cells on their face, mm. make their face look like a permanently white or black. Mm. So um, we, we have a campaign for called uh, treatment of white can be dangerous. And white is beautiful and dark is beautiful. Mm. Okay? So we do that many years now. Okay. So every time for our annual meeting, we, ha we invite people to come in. We have lecturer to give a talk in simple, common uh, okay. words, make them understand. We try to make alignment with, align with uh, the, the media. We invite the media to come in and try to give them okay, the, the, uh, um, the, the information to build uh, how dangerous it is that you go to treat to some clinic so it's obvious that the Dermatological Society of Thailand has done a lot to educate the Thai community and also especially to respond to the new trend that is coming okay, about cosmetic dermatology as well. However, for now it's time for a short break. We're right back and we learn more on its contribution to society, okay, not only to Bangkok but also to other areas and also the current situation of dermatology or dermatologists in Thailand. So please stay tuned and be my guest.